Yo, 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 it's the it's Xbox it's Goes Kaleidoscope with some news for the YouTubers here on YouTube. And lately, Miss Lara Croft has been in the press a lot, especially after the recent Gamescom when Phil Harrison stepped on stage and stated that Rise of the Tomb Raider was exclusive to the Xbox platform. Now the mainstream media flipped out, a lot of fans flipped out, and people started tweeting each other left and right and there were articles getting published left and right now a lot of these articles were basically circumspect because they did not confirm with either one of these three companies as to what was going on they did not confirm with Microsoft, Square Enix or Crystal Dynamics now a lot of people got pissed off at Crystal Dynamics which I don't know why, because, you know, at the end of the day, it's not their decision. A lot of people also got pissed, pissed off at Camilla Lettington, which is actually the actress for Tomb Raider. And she actually received death threats and actually received threats as far as that they were going to rape her and kill her and stuff like that, which is a shame. But again, she had nothing to do with any of that. Same as, well, for the Tomb Raider writer. She also received death threats and such and such. But again, it wasn't her decision. Now there were people, a lot of people that were also pissed off at Microsoft. You know, saying that Microsoft is coming and buying things left and right. Okay? At the end of the day, Microsoft does not own Tomb Raider either. The one that owns Tomb Raider and the one that you should be directing your anger at is Square Enix. Square Enix is the one that owns the franchise. Okay? They're the ones that you should be directing your anger at. But that's neither here nor there. Now let's get into the gist of things real quick. That very same day that Microsoft announced that on stage at Gamescom, Phil Spencer did an interview with Eurogamer stating exactly what this all means. Now that interview did not show up until a week later. Why? Because that's how the media makes their money with a whole bunch of clickbait articles in order to get you clicking. Now once that interview did come to fruition, basically it's reading Comprehension 101. Phil Spencer states, okay, there's no way to change these words. I mean, go back to school if you don't understand what this means. He will not be funding the PlayStation version of any game. Okay, so it will not show up on the Vita, the PS3, or the PS4. Now, Microsoft has three different types of exclusives. I'm going to explain two of the types of exclusives. They have one that is called a console exclusive. What does that mean? It means that it could show up on PC or on another platform. But it won't show up on a competing console. So that means it will be only on Xbox and it will never show up on the PlayStation platform or a Nintendo platform. Okay, that's what console exclusive means. And the ones that are console exclusives are Dead Rising 3 and Rise, Son of Rome. So, whatever PlayStation fans were hoping that it'll come to their system eventually, guess what? It's not. It's a console exclusive. Now I'm going to go into detail as to what a Microsoft exclusive is. A Microsoft exclusive is basically games that are exclusive to the Microsoft platforms, which are... Xbox One and the Xbox 360. So there will not be a PC version of this game. So for the PC gamers that were hoping that it'll come out on PC, well guess what? You're shit out of luck. Because it is a Microsoft exclusive. Okay, and they did say that on stage. And in that interview with Eurogamer, Phil Spencer did state it as well. This deal is for this game, Rise of the Tomb Raider. He did not buy the franchise, so the sequel, it's a completely different story, okay? But it is what it is, and it's all business in the end. And Sony did the same type of thing when they first game it, came into the video game industry. But the way I see it, business is business, and there it is, clear as day. Peace.